Welcome back to the Underdogs podcast number three. We made Whoa. it. We've done it with third episode. I thought we'd get this far. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, I thought we wouldn't get past one, but... I think we, the second one was a big improvement on the first one. I think so. And if that trend continues, this is about to be the best podcast maybe in the world ever. Well, don't build <laughs> hopes too high. <laughs> not trying to build your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not trying to set expectations. But no, this might be the best podcast <laughs> Are you ever. okay? And I forgot how to talk. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> Best I was getting too in the excited, world, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it I was is getting an exciting too excited. moment. The best underdogs podcast ever. No, no, the rest of them are going to be better. It's just yeah, so far, baby. so far, so far. No, you said ever. All right, all right. Um, we normally Busted. start off with like a question, right? Yeah, yeah. Just, like talk yeah. about something. Do you have a question for us, Peter? Uh, yeah. Nice. Um, I know a lot of time people talk about the stuff they like in content creation, but what's the worst thing about being in the underdogs? What do you guys reckon? In the underdog specifically? Yeah. I have to hang out with Jordan so much more what than I want to. <laughs> I'm sorry. Someone had to yeah, be mean. There. Oh. Yeah, very low. Um, mine's that I have to hang out with Zach, so. Oh. <laughs> Creative answer, no, what's, really what's funny. Actually like, specifically one? underdogs? Yeah. Um, the probably just, is, oh, well, for myself, it's taking time away from my main YouTube channel. Because the underdogs is like less lucrative and it doesn't really grow my own brand. But it's so fun that I don't mind doing that at all. We ain't but got it's like, the subs yet. <laughs> might be a bad business decision. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to make <laughs> yeah. sure the little Zach Z doesn't, doesn't cleave us. <laughs> yeah. um, I guess, I don't know, it's pretty good. Mine might just be the drive here. <laughs> Literally, that's, you that's know, really positive. That's what my answer like, is going to be. Like, yeah. It's just a no-brainer for me to rock up, play games and chat. Yeah. But you but, did get caught in traffic this morning, hey, Jordan? I did get caught in traffic. Yeah, it was brutal. Can do it. Cause yeah, we leave to get here at 9 o'clock, which is peak time. Not good. I mean, you always say we'll start at 9. We could do later. Oh, I like starting early. It's just like, that's when the traffic yeah. is. Okay. It's funny because we like... We start earlier. It's so o'clock. privileged because so many people start work at 8 and nobody starts later than 9, right? We're just like, oh, I have to make it there <laughs> yeah. at 9 to play our game. <laughs> to do a one day a week of work. Yeah. I mean, speak for yourself, mate. We're always for on the underdogs, grind. For underdogs. For underdogs. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, for me it's also bad, I guess, just like it not being my YouTube. But that's not that bad. Yeah. I don't think many of us like really care about that. I don't know that I don't think about that at all. I like I yeah. like the underdogs videos more than my own <laughs> Oh yeah, no. <laughs> I'm putting it out there. I enjoy What's the watching downside them more. for you? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you need you need to answer. To play against Jordan in Smash. <laughs> oh, way come more. on, God, there's a bit of hate already on the on this. No, podcast. actually, no. And Zach taking my stock. That's the worst can, part. Can about you do something like, non-game related? Like actually oh, have a good answer here. I don't really have one. I mean, because- <laughs> Peter's like the trip across from my room, <laughs> across one across hallway. The hallway. <laughs> because we have like a a dedicated recording day. Even if you don't really feel like recording on that day, like you still got to kind of do it. Like I was feeling mm. a bit sick this morning when I woke up, but I was like. You know, suck it up, Prince. Be right. <laughs> Obviously, I'm having a good time now. I'm not worried about it. But you know, you were sick for uh, was it two weeks ago? Yeah, and then just I feel like some of the coughs added to the humor though. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just random moments, and I'd be like, <laughs> like in a Mario die. Kart video. So I would say a really funny joke, and instead of laughing, you just would die. <laughs> I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, all right, um, should I just get into my segment? Are we all feeling yeah. yeah I reckon let's, let's go it. for it. We all happy to be here today. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. feeling a bit sick myself, <laughs> but. Are you actually feeling sick? No, I was just a uh, throwback. Call, throwback. Call, throwback. <laughs> throwback. <laughs> yeah. All, All right. right, let's get on. Yeah, so start I the segment, please. <laughs> I decided, because I liked last week when we kind of got to know everyone a bit better. Mm-hmm. I want to, if you guys are comfortable with talking about it, talk about stuff that you might have been self-conscious about when you were younger or in the past and that you kind of look back on, you're like, well, that's kind of dumb now or like whatever. Mm. Because I feel like it's something that a lot of people do struggle with, right? True. Like everyone has stuff they're self-conscious about, right? So I have a lot of these. Yeah, I mean, so do I. So it's like, I think everyone does. That's the thing. Especially gamers. (laughs) (laughs) And so I feel like a lot of people in our audience, maybe they can relate to some of them. True, And then as the boomers that we are at this point in our life, we're like, you know what? It's actually okay. Oh, you know? Give some good life advice too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like the wholesome stuff. So let's go with that. Anyone want to? Like, I'm not gonna like go down the line or anything. I feel like this is kind my of thing belly. Just... <laughs> what? Oh, oh, I used to real? like. Yeah, you know when you go over like swimming pools and like pool parties and all that. I yeah. used to wear a rashy like all oh, the you time. You were a rashy like, fiend. I was a fiend for the old rashy. Dude, like I also used to wear a rashy yeah, all the time. Rashy gang. <laughs> my mum loved it. I actually, I don't oh really yeah, really like rashies. I think everyone's mum loved it because it was like you're getting sunburned. Yeah, mm. my mum would always tell me. She still tells, tells me to wear a rashy. <laughs> oh, me too. I think she's like really? kind of yeah. upset that I kind of got are over. So good. They are just good. Because I was like. Uh, 
a bit overweight in high school, like more than I am now. And it was just like, I didn't want to... Overweight? I, I, I mean, so. like, more than... Oh, like, a bit. Over healthy weight. Anyway. Anyways. I think you'd be in the healthy weight, right? You're less yeah, than me. Yeah, but I was, like, self-conscious when I was in high school because I had a bit of a belly. Yeah. Mm. And then, like, I didn't want to take my shirt off, so I'd wear a rashy. And then, like, I realised I don't really care. <laughs> yeah. And, like, it's so dumb because, like... People probably made fun of me for wearing a rashy more than anyone would have made fun of me for like having a bit of a muffin top, you know? <laughs> so yeah, so it really just was a non-factor. Yeah, for Rash- me, don't and like, take it the wrong way. Rashies are not bad, but you know. Yeah, it's if, like the sunburn factor was yeah. like a positive, but apart from that, like the reasons were wrong, you know? Yeah, for me, I used to wear one because I'm so pale. Like, if I can get it there. Look at that bad boy. Oh, oh. the beacons are lit. <laughs> dude, dude, come put it in front of the crisp oh, camera in I'll the save studio it. light. <laughs> save it for later. But um, I still remember, like, someone... I get, I don't, is it good to make fun of bullying, but it's against me, so I found it funny? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, you, like, put white out on me, and he's like, look, I gave you a tan. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. And I still remember that so vividly, so it must have affected me. Yeah. But I would be very self-conscious about how pale I am, and then I realised, surely no one cares, because I've never had the thought of being like... Whoa, yeah, you're so, so pale, you mm. better put a shirt on. Yeah. Well, that's, like, the whole thing with being self-conscious about anything, right? Everyone's so busy, like, being self-conscious about themselves, and then no one ever thinks about someone else yeah. and is, like, that judgmental. Well, like, most people. I mean, I feel like you think yeah. about your own stuff way more than anyone else does. Yeah, you need to put your ego down. That really helps yeah. with self-consciousness. because no, you get that one comment once. Yeah. And yeah. you just, like, can't let... The, you think that that's what everyone's <laughs> thinking about that? Yeah. I no, mean, but if, even that person who did it probably doesn't. Yeah, like the guy doing like, the white on news, like, uh, forget it. Like, he's done. I now. got him. And yeah. then, like, yeah. 10 minutes later, they <laughs> But you they just forgot. now assume, like, in your brain that everyone is thinking about that yeah. when no one really cares. Yeah. You know what? That's also bad because the only way you get a tan is by not wearing a rashy. Uh, not true for me. Dude, I do not tan. Like, it just doesn't happen. I just burn yeah. and then it all peels off and then it's like a new whiter layer underneath. Like, <laughs> I mean, there's Z out of us two, Jordan, who actually is paler because uh, you're Should you we test like, right yeah, now? You're, I mean, it's not <laughs> very good for the audio. Yeah, listeners, right. but yeah. true. <laughs> A truly worthy opponent, finally. <laughs> Peter's Dude. like the Neapolitan ice cream without the chocolate. <laughs> you know, like that eight-year-old's just like dug out all the chocolate and you're like, you bastard. Dude, I hate the chocolate. Worst you're just part of white the or pink. Yeah. There's no in between. Yeah, we're all quite white. I don't think any of us yeah. is like tan at all. Yeah, we don't have very yeah. you know, olive skin or anything. Very unfortunate for the old sunburn when you live in Australia. But hey. I have like olive arms kind of, but not yeah. really. But yeah, I'm pretty white as well. Mm. I mean, we're all white. But I worked outside <laughs> doing sports coaching for a whole summer, and it didn't change anything. Wow, but, really? Okay, yeah. if I go to like Bali or something, I come back and I look tan. So and you tan? Like, I just do not. You're like a big singlet guy too. Do you have less of a shirt tan, or like you? Still oh, I, I don't get tan lines. I'm just like a tan gradient. Okay. I've never tan had a tan gradient. line in my life because I don't tan. So mm. like, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, it's a bit sad. Anyway, do you have anything, Jackson? Oh, I used to be self conscious of this little mole. <laughs> uh, for our audio listeners, uh, a mole. it's just a reasonable mole, sized mole for the right. How big it is? Uh, uh, like I'm a five saying. cent coin? It's like no, nowhere near, no, nowhere near, near that big. I can't see your hands coming. Oh, probably it's, a quarter of the size of Jackson's belly button. Yeah. Oh, wait, <laughs> wait, no one knows the size of the belly button. <laughs> audio listeners, it's probably what half a centimeter wide. If that. yeah, yeah, not even. And I used to be really self conscious that I don't know why. So I always wear my like. If I was at the beach, I'd pull my pants oh. up and like that. <laughs> so you're just stupid. like high waist Harry. Instead. Yeah, people used to always call me like high high pants Harry, and I was you're like, like "Well, that's the price I've got to pay." Got a wedgie you're at trying least to no one will know I have a little <laughs> mole. Literally, so weird. I look back on that, I was like, "That's weird that I used to care about that so much." Yeah, that is a weird one because like nobody, I don't think moles are ugly or anything. No, it's, it's just like something that you might have somewhere. Maybe like if you had like one like in a really bad spot on your face, maybe then. But and even then, I don't think it matters. I feel like it has character. Like, yeah, it's I like agree. at first you're like it's a it's hard not to notice, which is just like unfortunate. But like yeah, like someone has a mole on your their face, you notice it. But then after you've hung out with them like twice, it's just a non factor. I think it's not, even earlier than that. Yeah, five it, minutes. Yeah, if you meet exactly. someone, they have it like a mole. You'd be like, mm, it's like, you like yeah. it's like <laughs> oh, he's got a beard, cool, yeah. like done. Yeah, it's like you sort of feel bad for them because like if someone's got a mole because it's just something different, everyone's gonna like notice it. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like but it, yeah, I don't think anyone. But it doesn't mean cares. it's a bad thing. No one cares. Yeah, and nobody, nobody cares. cares. I, mean, I feel like that might be the, the model of this. <laughs> What's yours? Um, yeah, I was definitely being like a late bloomer in terms of like puberty and stuff. Like the voice. 
No, my voice was low. That was like oh, the first okay. thing I got. But like just being like not as like physically like big and like I don't yeah. know, just looking like a little kid. I remember being tiny in like year ten and like mm. people towering over me and I was like, Damn Oh it. yeah, I think I might have been the shortest person in our year group. Oh really? And we had like three hundred and fifty people in our year. Oh no. Because of my birthday's in December. Happy yep. birthday, meet a week. Woo, let's go. <laughs> and you have a bit of a young face too, which is yeah. something that I also like. And like blonde we're pretty hair. similar in high it's school. It's not very like it's like most more kids have blonde hair. I was yeah. small for my age and stuff. And so like that used to bother me. Obviously it doesn't matter when you're a bit older. But, you know. Yeah, but we were like playing cricket and all the kids went through puberty before me and they were just like bowling so fast. <laughs> I couldn't do anything against these kids. And, and they I didn't took go all to the, I was like year 12. They took all really? the boxes. Like they were like, oh, Jackson doesn't need one. His balls yeah, haven't dropped yeah. yet. Does he even have He doesn't balls? need a box. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that, Do I definitely understand that a box is something that protects your nuts. It's in like cricket. a little like. Is it called a box or is it called a cup? called a box. box. Okay. I think cup's oh. baseball. Okay. I just know it's called a cup in. Everything else, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe but other countries call it a cup. Maybe it's a, we maybe call it, it is a cup. It is definitely is a box. Oh, okay, good. I do, I do, I know what you mean though, Jackson, because like I was pretty shit at sport yeah. and stuff through like all of school. Yeah, just because I was so much smaller and younger than like because I was born in December, like I said, so I was younger than most people and small for that yeah. age. So I was small and young and I was like coming last in these running races and stuff in primary school. Yeah, like why do I suck at this? Yeah. And like I did gymnastics for a bit. And I quit because I thought I wasn't very good at it. Well, and then back. I like picked it back up after like 15 years of doing it. I was like, why the fuck did I quit? Yeah. Like I could have actually been good. And who cares if you're bad at something as your kid? But, yeah, but I mean, like, you do. <laughs> just like because of the situation I was in, I thought I was worse than I was at those things. Yeah. And it was just external circumstances. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, like people in school, you get some people like a 40 and some are held back a year. Yeah. Just like because people travel or whatever reason. Anything, yeah. But then you're like a year older and you play against them in sports and stuff and you don't really think about that. Yeah. But the changes within mm. the year actually probably matter even more than that, right? For sure. When I lived in Tom Price, there was like year four, five, six for the cricket team because it's a small town. So these like kids that were just like, yeah, same <laughs> same story but different. But like they were like, I think it was three, four, five, six. That's going to be like ages like what? Like seven until like 11 Which or 12, Which is such right? a big difference Which for sport. Huge. <laughs> especially massive. cricket, I feel. I mean, any especially contact sport, probably more. Yeah. Oh, that'd be terrible. Yeah, <laughs> impossible to play. They just use you as the ball. Yeah, and literally. And you on the ground. But yeah, that's... Wait, but yeah, no, after, oh, yeah, after right. I became like an adult, I was like, oh, I can actually like be more competitive yeah, with those things because like... Yeah, Everyone's kind of the same out. now. Because yeah, I like a growth spurt in like year 11. Like we're like... 25 centimeters in a year. Yeah, I was mine like, was what the fuck? messed up. My back was so <laughs> fucked. Oh, really? Yeah, geez, yeah. Yours must have been crazy. I grew like a, uh, I don't know, it was like a, a foot and a bit in a year. Were you not always Oof. tall? Nah, not until, I didn't grow till year 12. So wow. For all those, crazy. For all those shorties said, out there. Were you not always tall? Can you imagine a baby that's six foot five? <laughs> came out the womb. Like, like, yeah, that was pretty cool. Seven day delivery. Like, <laughs> 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 Pulling it out like a rope. Where are my voice breakers uh, at? Oh, I, my I voice never thought was about like, that. I had a pretty high pitched voice till quite late in high school, and we used to have to do like the public speaking, and then I would uh, like have a squeaky voice. But then also, when my voice started breaking, it's like even worse because that's then it's worse like, than the high voice. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but like oh, I thought the high voice was bad, but also like some people would tease me about it too. Yeah, which that, like that's what gets obviously you. does not <laughs> help. Uh, but I was also like self conscious about it. Except now, like I don't know, my voice still <laughs> breaks like. And I'm definitely like, I don't know why. Oh, Jordan had a great one in our last Mario Kart like, video where he's like, what the fuck? Uh, and he's like, yeah. he goes really hard. It's I feel so like funny. my voice breaks more than usual. And it's just like, but now I find it it's hilarious. Just funny, it's just like, funny at this point. I zoom in on it in like the <laughs> editing and I'm just like, lol, what a fucking idiot. Like, <laughs> no, that's just inherently funny. But if you're self-conscious about other parts of your like puberty experience and all that stuff, then like, mm. I feel like that kind of highlights it. And then you might feel a bit weird about it. Nah, the voice else. breaks are just inherently hilarious at this point in my life. Yeah. The thing and about all that stuff is you just got to own it. Like, yeah. if you're, like, mm. laughing about your own voice break, then no one can hurt you, right? Yeah. I think that was what made me, like, pretty scared of public speaking for ages as well. Like, even going into uni, like, I only really started not caring about public speaking near the end of uni. And it was, like, still pretty nervous. But then, like, I reckon if I went back and did it now, like, I haven't done any... Oh, you'd be great. You'd ...many it. public speaking things now. But then, like, just so much more confidence with, like, me yeah. speaking, just from speaking to YouTube for ages and, like, these videos. And then also, like, I did, had, I don't know, spoke to some people at Evo and stuff like that. 
I feel like it's helped out with my confidence in no, speaking. I, I think you'd be really good at public presentations now just because you don't really give a shit anymore. Yeah, yeah sure. That's the I think that's thing. the main thing. I hey. think it's all kind of related to just ego. Like, you think everyone cares about you. It's like, <laughs> no one cares. Yeah, most people don't give you much before, do they? <laughs> no one cares. You're like, take your shirt off and go underwater. No one cares. Yeah. <laughs> So he's like, look at that fucking mole. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. No one cares. At the beach, see that kid over there? You should have yeah, seen no it. No one can even see it. So it's literally standing in front of you. You should have seen it half cares, a so. centimetre. <laughs> it was crazy. Kid goes to the beach, takes their microscope out just to examine Jackson's mole. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what, That's what it feels like. He probably went to the beach and you're like, oh my God. Yeah, just, you just feel like everyone's looking at you when you're a kid, I feel. Yeah. And then you just, yeah well, I think it's like when you finish school. Mm. You should have joined the Rashi gang. I was. Forget high pants. <laughs> I, well, I was originally. I actually oh, quite, yeah. I still like her. I reckon Rashies are great. Yeah. Anyone else got any other ones they want to share? Like, doesn't I'm trying to, to think. I'm happy to share. Yeah. Well, I can't think doesn't of any. Really, um, you don't really, yeah. I feel like I had this weird thing in school where it was like, I was a quiet person, but I wish I wasn't, if that makes <laughs> sense. Yeah. Like, and then you, you overcame that <laughs> and now you're like, I'm going to <laughs> Sorry, Tom. but like I would see people just like having fun and joking around in class and like talking, and I'd be like, I wish I could joke around, but it's like I, it would be too weird for me to do it now because I've been quiet for so long. Really, oh. I don't know how to explain this concept. No, but I, I, I'm kind of getting it. Yeah, it's like, surely you felt someone like you had adopted me. the choir role, so it'd be like, oh, I did that. Too I much of a change. It yeah, I literally what, just changed it one day. I changed. That's it, great. But I want to see the day you changed. <laughs> just reactions to that. <laughs> but it was like I remember then I went to uni and I was like. These people don't know who I am. I can just be like myself and just like be funny and just like talk yeah. to people and it won't be weird. Yeah. But Some I had to wait for that break. Like that. Yeah. I think I got that like, you know how everyone re- eventually reaches that I don't really care as much stage. I mean, people don't mm. grow out of it as at all sometimes, but like I think I got that super early compared to everyone else. Yeah. I'm just like not being self-conscious, which is very lucky. Yeah. yeah. Throughout mm. high school, I had that. Like, That's quite a big early. one. I never really got that till like, at, like all the way through high school, I was self-conscious about Something. I think most people and leave then, like, school and then uni was the that. difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah for me sure. it was uni. It was definitely me a couple of years into uni just because like the first year I was like still fucking 17 for the whole of my yeah. first year of uni. <laughs> and that made it even worse because everyone was like going out clubbing and stuff and like, you know, and I was True. still underage yeah. and I still looked super young yeah. and I was like, man, this sucks. Yeah. All oh, right, because for you, December meant you were the youngest. Yeah. yeah. For me, for ours... Since they changed it, it's like December's December is older or middle. It's in the middle, yeah. 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 For anyone unsure on this one, so when I went to school, me and Zach were a little bit older, our school year runs from January to December, and that's when the cutoff was for the ages. Yeah. But they changed the year cutoff. Because you know in America, there's summer holidays, they're long holidays. Mm, June? Yeah. It's in summer. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so like it's kind of the other way, it kind of makes more yeah, sense Yeah, in there. America, don't they, like you start grade two like halfway through the year. I do yeah. not know. I, I think, feel like I'll say this wrong. No, nah, I'm pretty sure that is what it is. But for us, we start grade two in mm. like at Just the start January, of the year. Or February. Yeah. It's all whack. And I think but they, we couldn't drink first year uni is yeah. what the the end all comes to it. Yeah. yeah people I mean, be like uh, going to the tab on uni, like the uni tavern. I'd be like, have fun, guys. I'll be throwing my frisbee. <laughs> Which is probably quite strange year, that's crazy, for a lot of people. Actually. Yeah, it's probably weird for a lot of people anyway, because our drinking age is 18. Like a lot of people would be like damn couldn't drink till like 21 you know like yeah, most well, of our think about that 21's so old to drink that yeah whole, you know like the whole story behind that is so weird tell me oh i, I don't know it in <laughs> enough detail but it's basically to do with like people to trying to stop drink driving and then the federal government was like sweet oh. we don't want people to do this but the state governments are the ones with control over it right so they basically said uh if you don't change your legal drinking age to 21 we're not going to give you these funds for, like, interstate highways anymore. So the states got pressured into changing it to 21, even though they didn't have to, just to keep the funding for their interstate highways from the federal government. Wow. What the... Is that it's like, really weird. There was, how, I saw a whole long video about it. Because that's where every country's, like, 18 or even yeah. younger in some places. I think it was in the Clinton era with, like, Mothers Against Drink Driving and really had this massive uh, campaign. I think Could it's be probably better in the long term because doesn't your brain suffer a lot from drinking? He... But I feel at like at a younger age. <laughs> but then you might as well just say, just never drink. No, but like I think it's even more potent on your brain. When yeah, it's not going to stop anyone. It's no, going to make it, people it does, less it responsible. It does restrict it. I think. I feel like you're well, going to have worse debate, experiences <laughs> with it. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely that debate can be made. But I never, I didn't really drink until it was legal because I was just like, I can't be bothered like organizing. To oh, get alcohol. Yeah, same with me. I think it depends on yeah, your social Yeah, me too, uh, mum. If you're listening, <laughs> 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 mum, block your ears for the next thirty seconds. <laughs> No, I mean, it depends on the person. Age. Like, my friends all drank. I just never really 
I was like, I can't really be bothered. So it definitely worked for me. If it was 21, I wonder if I would have kept waiting. Yeah. I really doubt it. I don't know. I don't mm. know. Do Just for us, that seems so like an extra well, that's what, three two years. Two years ago. How old am I? 23. Yeah. Two years ago. I would have been drinking only two years. That's crazy. Yeah. I took my first shot of vodka with a sun kissed chaser at my sister's 18th. And she's two and a half years <laughs> older than me. So I was 15, 15 and a half. half. Yeah. Yeah. And then she was like, take this shot. It's going to taste like shit. And then I was like, huh, okay. And then she was like, have, have this sun kissed after. Then I drank it and I was like, what is this? <laughs> Devil's piss. Like, this does taste like shit. And I had my sun kissed and I was like, oh, now it's gone. Oh, and I'm tipsy. <laughs> so, that was just wild. <laughs> yeah. But no, I feel like if you're doing things illegally a lot of the time, like this debate's been had a million times about all different types of drugs and stuff, right? Oh, for sure. But if you do stuff unregulated, then you have way more accidents than when you do stuff regulated. Yeah. Right? Yeah, no, uh, that's probably true. Just make sure it's safe and then, you know. Yeah. There you are. I feel like 21 is a bit extreme. Yeah. No, I it think like I'm more meant it. from like a literally from a neuroscientist point. Oh, yeah. It probably, probably would be- makes sense. But you're, you're definitely right. Like when you're trying to overregulate things, then it just doesn't really work. I mean, I do have a degree in neuroscience. Let's hear it. And... Oh, I was just going to say, and I drink a lot. Oh. So. <laughs> Waiting for the big moment where Zach <laughs> tells us the effects. I drink a lot and I still brain good. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> so, is that everyone's yeah, self Yeah, I'm about oh, ready that's to where move we on. Right. Well done. <laughs> I mean, tangents are good. That's why we're here, right? <laughs> yeah, I agree. We're already 20 minutes in, so we should probably move on to the next yeah. person. Yeah. Mine's really quick if you want to yeah, smash yeah. mine out. Yeah, Sure thing. Wee. Oh, this one's. There we go. I don't know how mine long. 20 minutes, damn. I don't know how long. I don't know how long. <laughs> I don't know how long mine will be. Zach, that 15 and a half alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back to bite you. <laughs> All right. When I was 15 and a half, I don't um, know how long mine will be. So it's kind of on that self-conscious. <laughs> this has got a bit of a story about what I was thinking about the other day. Um, you know about how you're self-conscious about things, right? How yes. often? You know, like when people are singing, it's really hard to like earnestly sing. Yes. Do you know how everyone's always like, oh, like obviously over the yeah, top. Yeah, you're like, bad. you don't want to put in effort because then if you're bad, then it means. Uh, yeah, like uh, if you're actually trying, it's like interesting. It's like that. Uncali, like it's like the valley, right? Yeah, Where it's just yeah, like yeah. you don't want to look like you're trying too hard, but you don't want to be too bad. So you're gonna like try and be in the middle, or you just go like literally, I'm, I don't care. Or I'm just silly, so silly. Yeah. Are you gonna get us to sing? Yeah. So this one's called best. Underdog Idol. <laughs> 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 and I just want to hear like your most earnest singing for literally mm-hmm. only ten seconds. What do you want to choose the song? You get to choose your what does the word oh earnest God. mean? Like As in, you're like, sincere. Okay. You're that was just for the viewers. Some might not know what that means. Young. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm gonna need to be given a song because otherwise, I yeah, don't know. the choice is Ooh. overwhelming. Yeah, because like you're like, oh, Ooh. what's the best for my vocal range? Do I want to try and get no a high queen. note to impress the judges? You know. Well, I just want. I don't really care what the song is. I just want to see you guys like sincerely sing. Did I? Actually... You need to take part in this as well. Jackson. Yeah. I'll, I no, I can't do it. I'm the judge. <laughs> no, you have nah. to. No, 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 no. Maybe we'll have segment. the judge encore at the end. Yeah, maybe. If, if you guys do well. See, the <laughs> thing is, I actually really love singing in the car and stuff, like super oh, loud yeah, and definitely. stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely. But, like, I've never been trained in it, so, like, it's yeah. not like I think I'm good, but I just oh, really enjoy it. actually really hard. It's so much fun. It is hard. Am I allowed a 10-minute warm-up? Can we pause the podcast? Oh, la, 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 I'm trying to think of a song. Guys, or... Can we go across uh, everyone's experience real quick? I Are think that'd be... No. Yeah, yeah. yeah we can, can we have a tragic backstory so we get bonus points, like, in the real, like, Australian oh, or American oh, Idol? Like that. Be like, so, well, I used to sing um, while to drown out the noise of my parents fighting each oh, other <laughs> when I was a little kid, canceled. and that's what really started me singing. And ever since then, it's really been a way of getting through the hard times of my life. And um, wow. I think if I didn't make it through this first round, I might go and uh, kick a small puppy. Wow. So, um, <laughs> is this okay. Is that what you meant? Zach? Can I? A little bit. I was just going to say that uh, I've probably got the most singing experience. Like, this is going to be bad because when I actually sing, it's not going to mean much. But I used to do choir in school, which is like what all the music students had to do. Just because I was going to say none of you guys were music students in school. No, I have never. So, like, I had to do choir every Wednesday morning for five years. Jeez. So, like, I sang a lot of songs. some experience with this whole thing. Yeah, and the thing is, like, you learn harmonies and stuff like that. What was one of the songs you would sing in choir? um, We did Oh Fortuna. Perfect. How do you sing that? For this is the song we're oh, gonna no, be no. doing. Nah, we're nah, gonna have a real song. <laughs> what's, what's know, the, like, I'm trying to think of a song we can all um, do. Let's do Blinding Lights. I love Blinding Lights. Most nah, it's too. It's too. This year. Choose an easier one. What about the beginning no to Mariah Carey's "All I Want for Christmas Is no. You"? No. 
How does it um, go? Don't want a lot for Christmas. That's a pretty good one. It's in the theme. Yeah. The there season. is just one thing. Is this you doing? I we need to start. We need to have like a build up and some starts. All right. Okay. I want to see Zach me. go for it first. Well, for, <laughs> for Christmas is you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just so we we also need to know exactly how long to sing. So it's up to you to decide. You Are we all doing the same what? song? Yeah, I reckon we'll do this. Nah, uh, you guys can do a different one. I'll, I'll, do, do, I'll do the start. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. Ooh. I don't Ooh. want. Wait, what is it? I don't care about I the don't presents. care about the presents. Under- <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that real? Underneath <laughs> the Christmas tree. I think I started in the wrong <laughs> register here. I like here. the. Uh, ooh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Then, oh, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> that is. That's make, good enough, I think. Oh, make, no, sorry. Make my... It's long as 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think I'm done. I what? lost it. I lost it. For some reason, I just can't think of a song. Yeah, neither can I. What's your favourite uh, artist? Oh, do I get a second chance? That was shit. <laughs> well, Wait, you, can, I'm going to look guys, up... You guys can go. I'm going to find this. Peter right. can do blind lights. Go. Electronic music, so I don't even know what yeah, to say. I'm like, yeah, I'm like... I listen to rap. Is Peter that. doing blind and lights while we're waiting? <laughs> Let's go. Um... Ooh, I'm blinded by the lights. No, I can't sleep until I feel your touch. I say, ooh, I'm drowning in the night. Oh, when I'm like this, you're the one I trust. Right, there you go. That was good. Nice. Thanks, man. I feel like, like that Let didn't just take advantage of your full register. Like, you Yeah, that's why I say that if you try to think choose a song yourself, you're never going to be able to choose. Yeah. Do you want to do an octave higher? Sure. Um, no, that was I a think, joke. Oh. I think the thing about this is... <laughs> what? what? <laughs> it's a funny start to a sentence. <laughs> um, it's just like singing along to songs is actually very different to singing with no backing track, like what we've done. Yeah. Because yeah. me and Peter both started in the a position octave. that was very comfortable for us. Oh, but if you I listen see. to almost yeah. any song ever, especially guys' songs, they are very high because... That's what sounds best with male singing, singing at the top of your head voice octave, mm. which is like... I discover that in the car a lot when oh, you're just like, what's like... It? Is this my head voice octave? Head, oh, head voice possible. is what we talk in right now. So I'll give you guys a quick little music vocal lesson. This is head voice like this. So then you go... Da, 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 so if I'm going... Da, but then... Da, it's the same note. But then this is falsetto and you can go... Da, 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 da. There's like a switch. But it sounds different. Da, 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 da. So <laughs> if you're like, you can go like, if I was trying to do blinding lights again, you go, yeah. Ooh, I'm blinded by the lights. Or you can go, Ooh, I'm blinded by the lights. I'm um, the same note, but the first one was in head voice. Is this so, interesting? I think so. I think <laughs> I people like interesting. this. Okay. Uh, and so like most, like Zach was saying, pop songs are at very high head voice. It's very it's hard for really regular hard guys to sing, to sing pop, vo- pop songs in the right register. Like, Peter sung Blinding Lights, but it started on a completely different key yeah, to the real song because the weekend guy is friggin' crazy. He's talented, though. Yeah, and that's why Queen songs are, like, fucking impossible. I don't know if you saw, but I tried to do We Are The Champions in a recent video, mm-hmm. and it was just... It, it, it absolutely killed All right, my here's voice. my song. <laughs> yeah. What's it called? Uh, Walking On A Dream. Okay, sure. Good song. <laughs> I don't know. Is it falsetto or not? That wouldn't be. You mean just like the regular song? Walking on a dream. No, do the chorus. (laughs) Okay. Sorry. (laughs) That's the same note for 16 times in a row. Is this the chorus? Yeah. We are always running for the thrill of it. Thrill of it. Always pushing up the hill, searching for the thrill of it. On and on and on we are calling out, out again. Never looking down. I'm just in awe of what's in front of me. Now falsetto. (laughs) (laughs) Re- <laughs> 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 you guys can both have pretty well. Not you, George. Yeah, so. I, I'm good at falsetto. That's I'm why I do the tried. like. And I'll tell you all about it when yeah. I lose the. It's so much fun to swap between head voice and falsetto. Fix you. It's hard, but like I, when I'm singing in the car, it's like really fun and satisfying. And when you hit it right in a song. So what's the difference between head voice and falsetto? One more time. Uh, do do this uh, voice. Do, do the. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's falsetto. That's falsetto. And then go. What's ah! head voice? Oh, uh. But hi. Uh. So there's like no, you hello, <laughs> and then there's. <laughs> this is hello. a terrible podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Great podcast. <laughs> All right. Uh, cool. That's the end of my podcast. No, 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 no. Your turn. No, I don't want to sing. Come on, Jackson. Oh, fine. What do you guys want me to sing? 
I'll tell you What's one of your favourite songs? Garson stuff. Pump what are the it words? Loud, I actually do pump it. It's been so long, oh, I've no, been yeah. out of my body with you. Yeah? Ghosts. Mm. Dude, no, this is worse content as you Googling Lately. stuff. No, I'm getting I've the been, lyrics up. I've been thinking. Oh, that's I a good one. I love singing that song, too. That's fun. What's that song? I happier. Want you to be happier. Oh, I don't know the words to that. All right. It's been so long, I've been out of my body with you. That was pretty good. Du, 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 du. I feel alone, feel at home, feel like nothing is du, true. Du, 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 du. Oh, I'm, my du, 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 du. I'm glad this is the best podcast ever. <laughs> so <far. laughs> best podcast in the world. So who, uh, what are you deciding, Mr. Judge? Well, I was actually impressed by um, Peter's performance. I thought Zach would win that easily. Can I have a different song? Damn, get wrecked, <laughs> Zach wants to go I chose the wrong song. No, sorry, that's the end of my song. I could sing Blinding yeah, Lights. How long has it been going, going for? 30 minutes, Blinding Lights has back. four notes in the chorus, can I just say? No, sorry, you lose. All right, should I go up now? Yep. All right. <laughs> Zach's not this happy. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hello. Oh, well. All right, so. Oh, we're really finishing with my segment. We are. Do you not want to? Oh, I mean, <laughs> you guys don't. Is want it bad? To. Nah. Because the further in the video, the less people watch it. Oh, so. True. 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 All right. Well, we're coming up to Christmas, so I thought we'll have a bit of story time. If you could tell us, maybe not the most, but at least up there, what is like maybe a very naughty thing you've done and a very nice thing <laughs> you've done. This year? No, just in oh, your life. Just think of hard. something very naughty or something very nice you've done. I was never that naughty. Oh, really? come on. Everyone's I was pretty well done, behaved. Surely done something you've done naughty. something naughty. Oh, for sure. I just have to think of it. I've got something. I can start with something naughty. Yeah. But it's not. Uh, I mean, all right. So <clears> this is something that stuck with me for a very long time because I felt so bad about it at the time. Yeah. But I didn't tell anyone. And so like. When I was a little kid, I used to get these, uh, they were called K-Zone magazines, right? Yeah. And it's like just a kid's magazine. I don't really know how to explain it because probably nobody buys magazines anymore these days. I remember them. But, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, it, I remember. K-Zone magazines, whatever. Uh, they used to occasionally come with, like, lollies or something, like, as, in, like a sample kind of thing with the lolly. I don't know if they're, like, the companies were doing promotions or something. So, like, yeah. very rarely it'd come with, like, a little toy or a little bag of lollies or something. And it would be like in the in a plastic bag with the K Zone magazine, and then you'd buy that, right? Yeah. <laughs> I remember I was at the news agent one time, and I'd always go and look at the K Zones when Mum was doing her thing or whatever. And I saw one of them; the plastic thing had kind of ripped open. Oh no! And there was a box of chocolate covered nerds in it. I remember <gasps> it so well. It was a box of chocolate covered nerds just sitting there, and I was just like, I must have been like seven. <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> I could, I, I mean, it's open, you know, I should just take yeah. it. And then I did it and I felt so <laughs> bad about it. I put it in my pocket and then we just like, I just like left or whatever. Didn't end up buying a K-Zone. Did you eat them? Oh yeah, I probably, no, I probably felt funny. bad about it the whole time though. It's like every chocolate nerd, you're like, <laughs> so oh, good. But so regretful. <laughs> yeah, tasted like regret. And that's actually stuck with me ever since, even though it was like, yeah. obviously... Nobody cares. That shows you're a good kid, though. <laughs> I felt <laughs> like, so bad about it. You're still thinking about it. <laughs> but it's not really a very naughty thing, but I think it's the thing that stuck with me the most of something yeah. I've done. You know what's weird? I remember the punishment of being naughty more than yeah. what I did. I remember getting my mouth, like, literally washed out with soap. Oh, class. I remember getting, like, the wooden spoon peddling on the ass. Mm -hmm. But, like, I'm struggling to think of what I did Actually. to... That or was wrong. I remember something, something nice. that was really mean that I did to another kid where, like, their parents contacted my parents and, like, oh. that's when I got the... Shit gets real. The paddling. Oh, <laughs> but you don't really? remember what I, it was? I can't remember what really? it was. Oh. I'll, right. I'll try and think about well, it. Well, while you're thinking, I just remembered something that I did. And it must have been right after I learnt, like, swear words and stuff. <laughs> because I remember, like, it was, like, family friend and then... Um, I wanted to stay over for a sleepover and my, my mum or my dad whatever were like, no. And I just remember being so mad that I just said every swear word I knew <laughs> the whole way home. And I was like giving my parents the finger. I feel like I must have wow. just learnt everything. I'm like in the car giving my mum the finger like, F you. And I remember I got home and then they were so pissed. I can't even oh, imagine no. what they'd be thinking. It's like the first time your child swears and they just go all out. They say everything they know. Yeah, Committed there was no like it. slow increase. No, it was just, it was like, just like, box everything, everything came out. And I remember 
I had to just get every single item in my room and get it out. <laughs> like what? Every toy in my bedroom, everything. I had to like get it out and they put it all away. So my bed- so they turned your bedroom into a prison, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I had no okay. toys. I had nothing in my room. I just had like my bed. Is that just like lifting tires and rocks and <laughs> yeah, stuff yeah. and really jacked That's in the a courtyard? Good punishment. It was. I remember. I was punishment. just like. I was like crying and I was just, like giving them everything I have, <laughs> and then I just had nothing in my bedroom. I think. I, only for like a day or something, but still. nothing but your swears. Yeah. <laughs> Can but I? I remember that. Suggest a revision to your segment. Say no. If it's okay to say no. Oh, I no. feel like it's really I'll hard to think anything. of something nice you have done yourself without coming across as a bit of a wank. How about something nice someone else has done for you? Just anyone, or like, what's the nicest thing someone else has done for you? Yeah, okay. That's mm. I don't know if you can say no. I don't know. I, I, mean, I find it really hard to think of something yeah, nice I've done because if anyone can think I'm of, a bad person. Honestly, just any story that involves niceness or naughtiness, <laughs> I don't mind. It's probably most stories, if you think about it, there's probably some amount of... I can't even... I stole a um, toy uh, car when I was in um, daycare. I can't remember. Oh, <laughs> here we go. And I took it home and I felt so bad and I cried to my mum to take me back so I could return. Oh, it. really? Oh. I think I still... So that was like, naughty and nice. I was literally such a good boy. We got I still have spectrum. like a library book in my room from primary <laughs> school. Do not take it back. You're overdue fee. <laughs> You're going to take get it back and they're like, that'll be 10 grand. <laughs> yeah, you don't get the so debt. Funny. <laughs> Do you have anything, Zach, that you can think of? Oh. Wait, did you tell a naughty? Or you just said you got spanked? I have never Yeah, you can't think of the actual Yeah, naughtiness. I feel like the punishment stuck with me more, which can is I probably good. Go on a Maybe. slight tangent. No. Go for it. What do you guys think about like spanking or wooden spooning or like punishments like that because like I never had any of that stuff as a kid and I turned out all right you know that's why everyone's I mean everyone it probably happened like three times total yeah and like I don't think it was bad but like I also doesn't mean I'd recommend it I don't I, don't I feel really like care. so many people get caught in that logical trap of like well I had it this way and I turned out okay and yeah. I'm like yeah so did everyone else like it's mm. it's you know it's it's really weird I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. No, I, I think, no like, idea. wooden... Sp- like, obviously, you shouldn't beat your kids. But, like, mine was, like, smack on the ass with a wooden spoon. I think that's probably, like, you'll as be far right. as That's, you. like, a you'll be right, champ. Yeah. <laughs> I guess- Mouth washed out with soap. That's, like... That's pretty a- brutal. Ooh. That was, like... I think that was when I, like, swore a bunch. Yeah, Makes surely sense, the you know? classic. And we're back and from we're the back. technical difficulties that didn't happen. Insert the ad break here. So we were talking about paddling me... <laughs> specifically we me were. Um, did you guys yeah, ever get that as kids I, I used to have no. quite a few like arguments with my mom, and then I'd just get like quite angry Easy. and probably like swear and then they're just like right give you a smack with the wooden spoon that was only when I was really young though when I was older it was more like turning the internet off for a day and Dude, I'm like no mom I'm pulling my pants down like mom hit me please. 20 times You're slapping please. yourself on the ass <laughs> Look, I'm like no anything but taking the computer away do you ever do that like you accident like you're play fighting with your siblings and you hurt them and you're like hit me it's fine don't tell mom oh, I, no, yeah, I, I did do that, that. I did not have that oh really no. I would have that and it's just like just hit me just hit me <laughs> Play I'm, fighting always went too far. Yeah. I never fought my sister at all. Damn. We'd like wrestle and then someone would just like pin someone down the wrong way and like hurt them in, yeah. some, in some sense. Peter's friggin' Mr. Nice over here. Yeah. No, I it's just nothing no, like, like Did you ever get kid. in arguments with your sister much? No, me and my sister have literally See, never argued. That's what crazy. It's like that. I feel that's like sibling cool. arguing is like... Almost a necessity of yeah. Me and my sister don't argue much. Well, actually, see, I was pretty annoying. But like, surely at some point you. Oh, have. I'm sure we have, but we don't do it much. Oh yeah, I'm just talking about when I was little. Are you close I to your didn't. siblings? Yeah, yeah. As when well as I was like, not younger. so much after we've moved out and stuff. Yeah, but like, Ooh. I like I, my sister's really, really laid back and chill. Yeah. So even though I was probably quite annoying, because yeah, looking back, I definitely was quite annoying. <laughs> She's just way too chill to like care. It's it's quite quite a good combination, honestly. Me and my sister were pretty competitive with like games and stuff. I think and pranks. I think pranks. That, I think that's what led to just getting annoyed at each other. What did you prank your sister with? Well, my sister pranked me with the banana. Oh, we yeah, talked that's, about that yeah, in the I last episode, that. and also me being too competitive at Monopoly and writing "She sucks" on the board. Oh yeah, we talked about <laughs> that. We talked yeah. about both of those on the podcast. And yeah. It's like, yeah, there's a few more things like that. I kicked a hole in her door once. <laughs> what? Yeah, I got Beast. really mad and like. She wouldn't open her door 
and what I was like, I wanted to, I wanted to keep arguing with her because like she had, she kind of had this ripper line, and I can't remember what we were arguing about. She got you good and left. Yeah, she had this ripper line that <laughs> like shut the door, and then I was like, I still wanted to argue. Oh, I wanted something she had, and then I like was like banging on the door and then I just kicked it and put a big hole in it oh. and I was like Fuah. I did not know I could do that then I had to like plaster the hole up <laughs> you can still see it on the door there <laughs> if you guys ever come back to my parents house Amazing. like it's like a really shoddy patch job I plastered it and I was meant to repaint it so you couldn't <laughs> notice but I did not didn't sand it or repaint it so it's just a rough patch that is <laughs> Well, there you go. Memories. Yeah, I'm just not a very angry person either, so I just never really had stuff like that. Really? When oh, I was I a kid, I was haunting how savage. nice you are. No, I was not being nice. I just don't give a shit. Like, I don't know. Maybe mm-hmm. I should give more of a shit. I remember. I guess I'll have another naughty story. But I remember being <laughs> no. a kid and then, like, um, I used to be such an angry kid. And I remember, like, my mum... Mm. For whatever reason, she, like, took my Xbox away. And I was pissed. And I, like, got... This is, like, pretty, really bad. I remember, I must have been, like, 11 or something, and we had, like, those little plastic cricket bats. And I remember, like, smacking her door with it, trying to, like, break in, (laughs) being like, give it back. Should have just kicked it. That's the most effective (laughs) strategy. (laughs) But, yeah. Give me my Xbox back. Yeah, I was pissed. Insane. I have more stories like that as well, but I don't want it to just be oh, that. Why are you such an angry child? Where did this come from? You're not angry know, at all. Probably like my not, parents. Not in your Let's tell some more. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? You guys missed it. To be honest. <laughs> I didn't hear that. Uh, do you want to say it a bit, bit oh, more clearly? I know. It, could, it might have been something to do with my parents divorcing when I was around like nine or oh, something. Yeah. I'm sure that had some kind of effect. Yep. Yeah, it would have. That would do it. definitely had a thing where I like didn't like my mom and like wanted to hang out with my dad all the time. Yeah. So See, I felt a good mix. I feel so bad when people get sucked into their parents' divorces and stuff. Cause like my parents, I think they broke up when I was maybe two or three. So I don't really remember any, uh. any differently. But with that said, they were always very, very amicable. Even if they had their own personal differences yeah, when always, me and yeah. my sister were around. So like, you know, we could still go to the same event, like a graduation or something. Oh, really? or like and that was never at all a problem. And like Oh, that's so opposite to mine. Yeah, and like when <laughs> when like, I don't know, my dad would drop me off or something and my mum's for the different care thing, they'd like say hi. Oh really? Yeah. My parents were like the class like, tell your dad that the Yeah, see, I hate that. I feel so bad. They would never talk to each other. I feel so bad for people to get caught in that shit because it's not your problem. Yeah. And it's just like I'm not meaning to call out your parents or anyone in particular, yeah. but just fucking suck it up for your kid. Like, just <laughs> yeah. fucking suck it up. Like, no matter how much you hate someone, just, you know, be mm. the bigger person. Yeah. Well, that's my segment. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, surely we need a nice, nice story. Time. All right, I've got a, a nice, nice one. Oh, something, true, true. something some uh, nice people did for me. So when I was uh, 17, I had no job because I went in this first year of uni. I had absolutely no money. And this was about the time when the 3DS had just came out and Pokemon X and Y had come out. And so all my friends knew that I was just a massive Pokemon fan. But this was the first main series Pokemon game I couldn't play Mm. because I didn't have a 3DS. Like, I'd always had a Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, DS, whatever. So I couldn't play Pokemon X or Y and I was pretty devil about it. And I was trying to get all my funds together and it just was not working out. And it was just like, <laughs> man, like... It's the worst feeling. Like, yeah. I have $23. <laughs> yeah. I was like, if I get my Christmas money from here and then yeah. I like deliver papers for eight months and then like, I don't know. It just wasn't working out for me, basically. Yeah. And so uh, basic, uh, it was coming up to my birthday. But then about a month before my birthday, uh, one of my best friends rocked up at my house and was like, hey, we all pitched in and we got you this. And they gave me a 3DS and Pokemon, Whoa, Pokemon Y. I and, remember that. Yeah. I've forgotten about that. And it was like all of my uni mates, had, or like school and uni mates, kind of the same thing Wasn't at the same time. Wasn't it in high school? No, it was definitely first year uni, I remember. Okay. Did you pitch in, though? Yeah, yeah, I was part of that. Yeah, and everyone kind of just chucked it. I got like 10 bucks to put in, I mean, 10 people to put in 20 bucks each and got me that for my birthday. And this is past the point where people really get each other birthday yeah, presents. Yeah, that's hype. I so it was very, very... Very nice. That leads to a very good moral here because, like, I probably pitched in 10 or $20, like, eight years ago, and I had completely forgotten about it. But to, to know that it's, like, a nice memory that you still remember. Oh, yeah. That really cost me, like, very little. Yeah. yeah. That's, like, you know. It was very nice. If you do something small for someone now, they might have a good memory of it, like, 10 years down yeah. the line. Yeah. That's crazy. Very nice. Well. Any other nice stories? 
I think I think we're God as good as we're gonna get, John. Yeah, I'm not gonna beat that. Gift of giving, guys. Yeah. There you go. Christmas segment tied in. Nice little bow. Get up there. Zach. Okay. <laughs> Go from parents divorcing to the gift of giving. Gift of giving birth. Thanks, mum. Uh, any guesses That's on what my question. segment's gonna be about? Uh, lucid dreaming. Yeah, a little bit. So Try this you. is a new. I hate you so much. This is a new recurring. Well, I said I was going to do it last time, but this is a new. It's a bit different. This is a new recurring segment I like to call Zach's facts. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's where this we're just going to yeah, yeah, we're just so going to talk about some like topics. It's going to be sleep in general, but at any point, I it, like you can ask me questions and I'll answer them. But like Good. you can call me out if you think I'm lying. Who's the but I'm going to make something up if I don't know the answer. To any questions you have about sleep, yeah. But what if we don't call you out? <laughs> uh, it's only questions you directly ask me. But then you might give misinformation to people out there. I'm not going to give misinformation. I'll let you guys know if it's a lie. Okay, you picked up on it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to micro troll the whole podcast. <laughs> That's like oh, yeah, giraffes I'm- actually sleep for 25 hours a day. <laughs> no, it's four hours a day. But uh, how do you uh, how do you guys <laughs> sleep in general? I usually shut my eyes and just. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to make that joke, and I was like, I won't. Yeah, got him. No, I just, I think it's quite interesting. Like, how do I sleep? What do you, what do you mean? Me and Jackson, do you get a good amount this. of sleep? Do you get? No, I'm a terrible sleeper. Yeah, mm. you used to have like hell bad insomnia, didn't mm. you? I still do. Oh, you agree? Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. Especially when I get like in a rut of like, especially with like recently with YouTube. If I'm thinking about an idea, I just like can't turn it off. I'll just mm. like think about it until the point of not being able to sleep. So I just get up and just start writing. How many hours of sleep would you say you get? Average? Yeah. Probably like four. Oh, oh, really? Okay. That's Maybe more. real bad. It's like in a, in a bad swing, it probably goes down to like three, but I can be in a long period of time where it's fine and I get like the normal eight, nine. Do you feel terrible on those It three really hours? doesn't affect me as much as it should. You probably my, get used that's to good it. then. My, I think that's high. My grandfather sleeps for like three hours a day and it's all fine. <laughs> that's high. You get an extra four hours a day. Exactly. You no you negative so effects. Life. Oh, it's not fun though. It's like because you're trying to sleep. Yeah. You're more frustrated Why don't you than just give up? I do eventually, but it's like annoying. And then well, I get that on a t-shirt. Try. Never try. Why don't you just give up? Yeah. The opposite of Nike. <laughs> just don't just do it. Don't, just don't do it. <laughs> just give up. Do you wake up at the same time every day, though? Mm, pretty consistently. That's that's the good one. Mm. You know that if your body knows you wake up at the same time each day, it can sleep more efficiently? Like, if Makes you wake sense. up at 8 a.m. every day and you go to bed at midnight every day, and then one day you don't go to bed till 4 a.m., your body will sleep, like, twice as hard in that four <laughs> hours. <laughs> it is a fake fact. I'm no, that's real. You that is real. sleeps twice as hard. <laughs> no, yeah, buddy. Twice as efficiently. <laughs> All the other sleep people are, I'm motherfucker. We've got four hours to pull this shit no, your together. No, body, your body will literally sleep more efficiently because it's used to that, like, <laughs> circadian rhythm and your melatonin cycle. That's crazy. It's like fucking casuals. Like, <laughs> it's like the pop at one of sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Jordan's going to do now. Wake up at the same time. I know. Damn. Well, Wake up Wait, at the that's, same time that's every why day. I don't feel that different when I have less sleep. If you wake up at the same time, yeah. Mm. It's better than someone that gets 10 hours sleep a day, but always sleeps in till like either between 12 p.m. and 8 a.m. Sure. That's someone that like spins a rela- w- wheel of an alarm clock, yeah. you know? Mm. Oh. I'm a bit like that. I don't really have a set waking time. But Bad. Uh, <laughs> but what about just waking up naturally? Like, surely that's good for you, right? Eh, it's, it's like debatable. Yeah. The end of the hour. Because like, I just, I just wake up. When my body decides to wake up, yeah, surely like that's the best man. way to do it, right? Do you ever like go back to sleep after? Um, usually not, unless I'm really early. Mm. If I woke up at like five, I'll be like, oh, well, that's dumb. Waking up not in the middle of the sleep cycle is like good because you have like one and a half hour sleep cycles, and you want to wake up like in between one of them. It's the best for you. But then also, your body will adjust if you wake up at eight a.m. every day. And It'll you usually go to bed at like similarish time. Yeah. Then you'll probably naturally wake up at eight a.m. no matter what. So do you do you know? that? Uh, no. <laughs> Actually, I have. I only recently just got back onto the train of having my alarm clock that wakes me up at the same time. Is it your I toilet photo yeah. alarm clock? Yeah, you said when we like, lived together, I remember. Yeah, I've never explained this, but in the Captain Falcon <laughs> job interview, there's a moment where my alarm goes off and I'm like, oh, sorry, Jackson, got to go take a photo of my toilet. And everyone, you're like, what? And everyone that watched it was like, what? But what happens is I have an alarm that forces me to get out of bed I need to take a photo of, it's just a random like corner in my bathroom, but it like compares it to a previous photo. So I have to take a photo of that spot, which means I have to get out of bed 
and there's no way around it. You can't turn the phone <laughs> off. You the can't Uber like... driver. <laughs> Wait, is that an app? It is an app called Whoa. Alarming, yes. True. But I left my phone in an Uber once. Yeah, so we go out this big night and Zach gets home next morning. He's like, where's my phone? Oh, no. <laughs> and then, yes, it turns out I left it in the Uber. And then he came and dropped it back around to me the next day. But then he gets out of the car and Did I gave him to- like 40 bucks or something uh, for like tip him for bringing my phone back. And then he was like, how do I turn off your fucking alarm? <laughs> like he literally <laughs> like said that to me with the swear. And I was like, oh shit. Cause I didn't even think about it. Like when, <laughs> when I was like left my phone in the Uber, did not think about it. So to be going off in his Uber and you can't take a phone. And it's like, it is take a so photo. hard to turn off. You need to like try and turn your phone off like three times and then like, emergency shut down, like, power off. it Because you don't want to be able... F- you don't want it to be easy to get around. Otherwise, you just not use it. Exactly. That's the theory. Oh but then today God. I woke up at 7.55 a.m. because I've been using that alarm for a few days, like... And I've been waking up kind of before it. Yeah, I always wake so, up, like, just before my alarm. Yeah, well, like, every yeah, day. I never wake up That's what I mean. And you're alarm. waking up in between your sleep cycles, which is what Peter said, which is good. But it's just, it's also been adjusted to the same time. So if you ever fall asleep at 4 a.m., Jordan, you're going to get a good one. What's nice. the phenomenon of always waking up like two minutes before your alarm? I think it's just your body like getting a rough idea of when you usually wake up and then it's like adjusting this amount of sleep mm, cycles or the length perfectly. of your sleep cycles. I get that as well. So that you wake up like around the same time. Sure. Like hmm. sometimes you might have naturally woken up two minutes after, which is, uh-huh. you know. Yeah, I remember for me, my I used to sleep all the time like I would sleep this like, was crazy I remember this, this is the worst yeah I would sleep <laughs> I like 12 this. hours a day probably I and it was at weird times too yeah I would just I couldn't get through the day without having a massive nap I remember so many times my mum would like knock on my door and she's like oh he's just asleep again but it's like 1pm I'm just having a nap and it's just, it used to just be like a joke that my mum would say it's like always I would always be asleep she would want me to do anything I would just be asleep and then I had like prac like for teaching so obviously I had to like get on top of it and eventually change my sleep schedule to like wake up at like 6.30 or whatever. Did you never feel like you were wasting your life? Yes. <laughs> but I also had no life. Oh, yeah. So it was like, I'd be like, oh, on Friday I'm going to my friend's house. It's Thursday today though. Might as well sleep to get to Friday quicker. It would just be like, my life must have been just terrible. Wow. So insane. basically this was just depression naps all the time. <laughs> I was just like, I'd play games and stuff and then if I would get bored, I'd be like, eh, I'd just lie down. And I'd also feel really tired. Like, I don't think I could make it past. If I tried my hardest, it would get to 2 p.m. and I'd be like, I just have to sleep. I mean, that'd wow. be your body getting yeah, used to Yeah, my body right? must have got used to it. But then when I had to do teaching, I had to adjust and then... I was just like, I'm keeping this. I'm not changing. <laughs> yeah. And then I haven't. So like The funny part about I this is like, like seven hours or so. When Jackson said he got four hours sleep a day and you're like iron him off like that's so optimal if you don't feel tired. <laughs> like the difference between that and just twelve hours sleep in naps throughout Insane. the day. Yeah. Like you've come full circle. Yeah. Now I probably average around seven ish. Seven. Seven. What's that's eight? good? What's seven the recommended to amount? Seven to seven eight. to nine. Oh, okay. I was going to say in answer to your original question, I am very lucky with having good sleep. Like mm. I just kind of just like, I don't feel tired during the day. And then at nighttime I can usually go to sleep just fine and then wake up at a normal time. But I feel like that comes with working on your own hours. Like I hate setting an alarm. So do you, you not know. get, um, delayed sleep onset syndrome, which is like, <laughs> you said it like I should know what you mean. You just looked at me while you said that. And like, I'm not going to say what is that's that. Because that's what I kind of wants. slowed down. It's like, like every teenager gets it when they go to like uni. It's when you wake up at like 9am, then you'll stay up till 1am. Then you wake up at 930 then because you're not really tired till 1.30am. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it gets later and later till you're waking up at 1pm and going to bed at 4am. Game around. There's actually a name for that. that. And then you pull an all-nighter to reset the schedule. I remember doing one of those with you at my house. That was great. And it is the worst because it's not like (laughs) one night. Like, sure, you'll feel tired at 7 p.m. the next day if you, like, stay up all night. Because that's the idea, right? You stay up all night. You'll be tired earlier so you can reset reset your... No, but it doesn't take one day to reset, like, your body's natural circadian rhythm. And, like, the cycle of melatonin, which is what makes you tired in the first place. That's some real game hours. I remember, like, you're playing games and you're like, the sun's coming up. <laughs> yeah, damn, <laughs> I should yeah, go to bed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Been there. No, I definitely got that when I was younger, but I don't get that anymore at all. Mm. Like, I just have occasional days where I'm just so exhausted because, like, maybe I'll have, like, done a shitload of sport or I've had a really hard gym session and I'm just yep. absolutely fried. And I have, like, an a, an early night, early for me, which is, like, 11, 11, 30, yeah, 12. Yeah. 
and I'll be like, I'll have an early night and I'll be like, whew, and then I wake up the next day and I feel fine, normal time. I still get a hell bad if I don't set my alarm for eight. Like, I'll slowly wake up later and later. No, and then, no. like, yeah, that, that's real bad. That's why I've gotten back on the alarm grind and I've been... Uh, the alarm grind that. is a good grind. Yeah, really good. Nah. You guys ever had a lucid dream? <laughs> no. Two toes last week? A little bit. So no. what I'm going to do, this is part of this new thing that I'm going to do, which is where I try things between the podcast for two weeks. But we were talking about it and we were thinking that maybe we could all try yeah. things. Yeah. As long as it's not lucid dreaming, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you deal. guys don't need to try the first one. But what I'm going to do is go hard on attempting to lucid dream for the next two weeks so and then report we have back. we to hear about lucid dreaming next week as well? Wait, two weeks or I'm just going to give you the quick what update. Podcast maybe two weeks. <laughs> but I was oh, going to ask you guys. Yeah. Right. Peter you, hates lucid dreaming. Do you know what you can do in lucid dreams? <laughs> Wait, what were you talking about? Anything. <laughs> Jackson just forgot we only do the podcast every second week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, All good. But it's Play not on. just like you can control the dream. You can essentially communicate with your inner self. Can you talk to dead people? Uh, you can generate them. Well, like you know, like oh. if you open a door and you expect to see your like dead grandma behind it, you can go through and talk to them in your mind. Will like build a representation of how you remember them. Sounds like and you can interact drugs. with them a little bit, but you are also like sober and you can control it. Mm. But you can like. I feel like people have spoken about like similar experiences. I probably shouldn't recommend this on the. Oh yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel. Do drugs. No, um, it wasn't a dude. I was just like, it sounds like a similar experience that people talk about on like, I don't know, hallucinogenics or something. Yeah. yeah. Like oh, being out of control uh, experience like that. It does sound a little bit similar. The reason I find it super interesting is because like uh, you can basically like have extra time. Jordan, it's so, so optimal. optimal. There's like stories oh. of people who like practice sports in their dreams and they legitimately improve in real life. Yeah. Because it's still like developing your mind like... It's not building your muscles. That's when I can practice. Peter hates it. <laughs> heard it a hundred times. Heard it once. Peter, like, oh. I'm like, I'm so stony face. I'm so... Yeah, well, Jordan's like, optimal. I, I should join you on this Who cares? The viewers haven't heard it either. We should get they Jordan's... They have. We talked about this in the last episode. Could, oh, not that. I'm joining that. you on this journey. So you're yeah. saying I can practice Smash while I'm asleep. Oh yes, God. you could. But there's a lot of cooler things you can do. No. So you can, like, yell out to basically the abyss, which is, like, your mind. You can say, like make me feel incredibly happy and you actually will or you can say apparently there's things where people have been like sorry if you just like sort of say it in the dream your mind will hear it it is a fake fact and it's like no i (laughs) haven't tried this myself with your inner conscience right like apparently you can say like make me feel what true confidence feels like and you'll just be like unbelievably confident and get that feeling yes oh in the dream but it trains you for real you like learn how to do in real life yeah and you can say like what should I do with my life? And it might give you a sign of oh, something that, that you like have something really deep down that you love doing that you might want to do for a job. Yeah, like, smash <laughs> videos. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry, two different answers. All right. But yeah, um, stuff like that. It just seems I'll, really I'll cool to me. Week or two weeks. Yeah, I can give you guys the download. Send I don't know if PDF. I should say it. There's a lot of better sources on how to induce yeah. lucid dreams. We won't go too into it, but we can speak our own I'll join you on this. But I'm going to try it because, and there's certain stuff that I want to do except... Do you want to know the scary shit? If you can't wake up and no, then that's, you're like, uh, no, no, that's not a thing. I'm stuck. But like sleep paralysis. Because you can basically like generate whatever you want. If you're oh, dreaming I know in a lucid say. dream and you think like, oh man, what if the scariest thing I can possibly <laughs> think of appears? It will literally be like the scariest possible thing oh, ever. No, except if you like go up to it and give it a hug. <laughs> And it like pretty much disintegrates. Zach's just a giant bee, and he's like, "Oh hell no!" <laughs> <laughs> nah, there'd be way more scary stuff than that. I don't know. You'd really don't like bees. A bee that looks like a banana. But like <laughs> 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 a banana, but the tip is like a sting. Yeah. Oh shit. Hug me. <laughs> <laughs> but there's something called your dream self, which is like a shadowy figure of you, and it's meant to be like super scary. But then if you like go up and meet it. It can actually be like really positive it sounds cool, and have dude. really positive you're effects for your mindset. Up. You're like Shadow Mario. I'm not making that up. Super Mario this, yeah, yeah, it's like Shadow like Mario. Yeah. It's like Shadow Mario, guys. Have yeah. you met your d- shady self? No, I've only had three lucid dreams ever and only one of them. So basically, when you guys start having a lucid dream, what you want to do is rub your hands together and yell out, make this dream clearer. Or like, you can say anything as long as your mindset is to make it like solid. 
Because it's sure. hell like wibbly wobbly as a dream, right, to start with. And you realize it's a dream and it'll start like your, your head starts spinning. But then if you like focus on your hands or something simple and you're just like, clari- back you can that. say like clarity now. Or like make this dream clearer, and what I legitimately put dude. that shit in HD. <laughs> yeah, as long as you got the mindset, you could say like, t- like crank up the high definition. Yeah, as long as what you're thinking is like to focus on making everything clear, like solidify. And I legitimately, this is the one time I've had a proper lucid dream. I did that, and it worked phenomenally. So what did you do in the dream? Uh, I ran around. <laughs> it's like some really dumb shit. I was just like seeing what I could do. So I'd like open a door and be like, oh, there's gonna be a bear in here, and then there was like. <laughs> a bear and it was like friendly then I ran around and I was like meeting people and I played ping pong with uh, someone with defective dagger from Victoria because I was just making random people appear <laughs> and then I forgot to do any of the cool shit like flying I was just so like oh make this make that I was running through a school and being like oh look because I've never been in a Zorb ball I went in a Zorb ball <laughs> How was that? Like, so what are you going to do? <laughs> Zorb ball. <laughs> but like, I just like, it was at a school and I was like, oh man, school carnival, what if there was a Zorb ball outside? And I went oh up, shit. But I didn't like fly or do any of the cool shit, which is what I want to have another lucid dream. Right. So when, how long ago was this? Uh, Like a month or two ago. Okay. Wow. Probably, probably, probably longer, longer than that. You yeah, told me about this like a year ago. Longer than that. In this house? Yeah. But I haven't no, been. It was in the last house. No, no, no. It was in this house. Are you sure? It was in this okay. house. Uh, and I haven't tried to do it for a long time. Guys, give me s- what what suggestions? That what do you think hype. I should do? In the lucid dream? Yeah. I want to try flying. That's one thing. Um, flying seems Pokemon cool. I want to try the thing where you say like, Ask for give me intense oh, happiness or oh, like yeah. extreme confidence. Make me like, enjoy my life. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> but like, because stuff like that, just like shouting out to the dream itself. It's really you cool. just like... <laughs> I find that cool communicating with your inner self like but I'm I've never done it myself so it's kind of skeptical all I've done is be like make this shit clearer and yeah. then it was like boom and it feels like real life it's pretty crazy you just like go into space on like a jellyfish or something yeah Whoa, I'm <laughs> but so I think keen. the challenge right is thinking to try stuff because when you're in a dream yeah. you don't really think clearly right like yeah, shit a happens little bit. that makes absolutely no sense in dreams but you don't really question it because it's a dream right like you will change where you are and the storyline will make... Because when you're telling someone about your dreams, you're like, oh, then I was at the corner shop. And you're like, mm. I don't know how I got there, but you don't question at the yeah. time. I was hanging out with Fred, but he was actually Henry. And yeah. Was like, <laughs> For some reason, you know. And it's weird as hell. So I feel like being there in the dream and being like, it's not going to be hard to fly, but to be like, oh, I should fly. That's the challenge. Well, I've, right? never, it's, I've never thought about in real life, like, what am I going to do? Mm. Because that was the first time I ever had it successful. Yeah. So I didn't have a plan. But now I've got a plan. What's your I'm plan? I'm going to go in and see if I can execute the plan. Do you have you to know? be tired to try and lucid dream? Um, or can you, like, just, like, lie down your bed at, like, 1 p.m. and just be like, oh, time to dream? That's actually probably better if you can randomly sleep. If your mind's awake. See, I can barely normally But you can sleep. fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. No, I assume you kind of mean like daydreaming ish, right? Do you? Well, I just mean like, can can you just like lucid dream without being tired? You need or to be you... asleep. Yeah, yeah, okay. you need to. You do need to be asleep. <laughs> right. I wasn't sure if it was like kind of like a deep meditation. No, state, no, it's or like, it's like you're asleep. No, nah, what dreaming. you what you want to do is just think in your real life, like, oh, what if I'm dreaming right now, and then like that becomes a habit, and then in your dream you'll randomly be like. Oh, what if I'm dreaming? You know what's really funny? Uh, I had a dream the other day where I robbed a house with some uh, fellow kids hilarious. that I met at a park. Anyway, uh, that's beside the that's point. That's the hilarious part? No, no. <laughs> and then I got caught by the cops in my getaway car. So I was driving my car along the street and then there were cops and then I was like, oh, I'm probably going to be in less trouble, trouble if I just pull over. Then the cops caught True. me. Then I was watching a news program um, about... <laughs> Then there's the, they're like interviewing the lady whose house got robbed and she was on the news program and she goes like, oh my God, these kids rocked up and they stole all my stuff. Like you are dreaming. You know how people kind of say that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I didn't pick up on that sign. But that was a night that I tried to have a lucid dream and it was definitely my body being like you telling me dreaming. that I was dreaming. Yeah, it was you like- You are dreaming. It was something like you are in a dream, but I, th- I was just thinking like, oh, that's a weird way to phrase that saying. <laughs> and then, like, skipped past it. Then I thought about it when I woke up. I was like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> she was telling you Getting straight up. Dream. That, like, yeah. All yeah, right. That's funny. So if you guys all try to lose the dream, what, what should I do for the next two weeks and not lose the dream? You don't dreaming? want to? No, not absolutely fucking not. I would not rather not. anything else. 
True. No, Peter should try something different, then he can talk about that as well. Yeah, because I give maybe me such little shit about lucid dreaming. Because because I, you guys, why I feel don't we like just I'm think of something do it. next two weeks? You know, I, I feel like we should all be on the same weeks. page. So why'd you pick such a shit? Thing? Okay, pick something that I don't want to do that you can do for the next two weeks. What do you not want to do? Go to the gym. <laughs> a lot of things. <laughs> Cold out. Uh, I don't know. No fapping. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you guys, I'll be fapping in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you get into lucid a lucid dream, dream and the first Finally. thing. Finally. Checkmate. I <laughs> am erect. It's on the 29th of November, you're like, yes. It's not like I could, you know, imagine Angelina Jolie and have sex with her. No, no, no. I'll just fap in your dream. <laughs> fapping in my dream. <laughs> oh, that is. I mean, you're the one who went to Zorb Ball instead. Like, it's not much <laughs> okay, better. Okay, I didn't have a plan, Peter. <laughs> One more Zorb ball that you've conjured no, in your dreams. No, what can we not do? Not eat. Don't eat dairy. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> something eat exciting. Shit. Something exciting. Well, you can think of something, but I'm going to report back, and uh, I'm going to do the thing where you wake up about like two hours before. Oh, Jackson, I've got one. Yeah. Okay. Well. First, <laughs> sorry. First hour of the day. Yeah. Whenever you wake up, no screens. I'm in. Oh, can, can I try that? Well, I want to try that with you guys. But yeah, you I'll just try it. Do it as well. Oh, fuck. As well. We can all talk oh, about it. That's too much. No, Actually, I've been doing that recently. So I've started this thing this week. That's kind of my segment over, by the way. We're yeah. just we're just Now we're in chill now. time. Yeah, so Thank I've God, been like, doing relax. a thing this week. <laughs> I realized I have like 10 like big jobs that I've just like needed to do for so long. And that was also before I like reset my alarm to wake me up at eight. Wait, like 10 big jobs, like one, Clean name one of them. Cleaning what? this studio. How okay. it was like a fucking mess. Sure. So like what I've been doing is instead of sleeping until 11, I wake up at eight, start the day by like doing a job. Like I did my washing and You're like clean my floor. You're almost and then... meditating in the morning. You're so close. Well, that's, it was after our conversation yeah. like two weeks ago. Yeah. I was like, I got the Headspace app and I tried one of the meditation things. Granted, I did do it in the shower, which I feel like is. <laughs> yeah, that ain't not cheap. Work. No, we, not yeah. while I'm washing myself, just while I was chilling under the hot headphones water. headphones as well. Really? Yeah. Okay. Make sure well, you have your eyes shut with headphones in. Well, I didn't. I didn't love that. But then I was like, if I just wake up and it's very productive to do, yeah. like a chore in the morning, and then it kind of like sets your mood to be productive for the rest of the day. Sure, definitely. Uh, so I've been trying to do that, and I uh, hope to continue doing that, and just like see see how that goes. Come yeah, on. your mind so that's is like so it, clear. So it, what, it's eight till eleven is like chore time. No, no, no. It's more like eight till nine thirty. Okay. I like wake up, make breakfast, have a shower, and do a chore. This is sort of like pretty similar to what we were talking about last week, but yeah, just like yeah. taking the smallest amount of time each day to like do something. Always do and the and in the morning as well. I feel like yes, if you can. Good call. Mm. Like whatever, because like your mind is just like starts off really clear and then just gets worse and worse throughout the day. Yeah. So it's like if you have something really that you really don't want to do, just do it first, and then it's like. Ooh. I think for me, it's the dependency on just checking your phone and it being a habit that I kind of want to break by doing the one hour thing in the morning because I don't feel like it makes me less productive necessarily, but it's just like, it's just my first instinct when I wake up in the morning is to mm. just like see my messages or notifications oh, or whatever. My, I think mine makes me less productive. Mine makes me so much better. I kind of like lie in bed just looking at my phone like yeah, that's doing true. nothing. I think you wouldn't realise would how much it. it does. That would yeah. also do it, but mm. it's more that I don't feel particularly good about my dependency on a ride at, oh, at the moment. So for the next two weeks so we shit. can do that. And yeah, so no... No phones for an hour in the morning. Phone or computer up. or whatever. Yeah, you no know what's screens. bad, though, uh, about the no phones? Like, I've tried to do that. It's, like, not a hard ban, but, like, just check my phone less Avoid in the morning. Yeah. But then, like, if I release a YouTube video, I often want to check how it goes because I release it at, like, 2 a.m. Yeah. Don't know how well it's doing till the morning. And a lot of the time I might want to change the title or thumbnail if it's doing badly. Yeah. Oh, which is, I like, I feel fine. like needing to check the... Yeah, but then, like, it just becomes a habit, you know? I check the YouTube video, mm. then I've got a Twitter notification up no, the top or something. No, then you stop it right there. Yeah, but, <laughs> I mean, that's the trouble. That's why, like... Yeah. Because I haven't to hard make exceptions. It. Yeah, it's hard to make exceptions without just falling into about, a trap. If it's about your okay. work, I think it's a bit different, but... Yeah. But it's hard when my work is on my phone and my computer. That's what I'm saying. It's just a difficulty with YouTube being... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. on the same... Platform. ...device. Like, working from home, it's hard to split up your yes. leisure time and your work time throughout the day like that. I agree. I mean, first world problems. YouTube's <laughs> obviously a great job, but like... But yeah, it is always like, it's it's never, you're never not doing it to some yeah. degree. Yeah, it's like as soon as I wake up, I look at like my YouTube and like my email. Yeah. Just to see. But so you I like separate off. that from social media completely? Yeah. I okay. think that's fine. To me, that seems fine. I think I would try not to do that for the like 
no checking your screens for an hour in the morning, of course. Like, but I also not an exception. I mean, what, it's just an hour, right? How much difference is it going to make when you go and check yeah. it later? What helps me, I think, is like I guess you guys can like you can just be doing whatever, and then you're like, oh, I might as well edit now because I've got nothing to do. But I'm kind of like just like have a schedule kind of where it's like, okay, today I'm going to do YouTube between like eight and three p.m. Wow. Yeah, you give yourself a work day, hey? Yeah, but it helps because like a with schedule. Because with Holly, it's like, it helps a lot because like, okay, we can hang out now instead yep. of like, it would just be random. Like that's true. At 6 p.m. I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to go to my house and edit. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> oh, okay. So it's kind of just like I have a work. Makes sense. Hey, schedule. do you want to come and see my parents? He was like, oh, so, so much editing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah. It's yeah. so funny. I feel like out. every YouTuber starts out like, this is so good. I can choose my own hours. This is fantastic. And then the longer you do it, the more you move towards a normal Making work, a work day. day yeah. Like yeah. I've heard that PewDiePie gives himself like a 40 hour nine to five like week. Yeah. And then like, he just like moves closer and closer to like, and it's just like a crazy concept, like giving yourself weekends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cause like I work on the weekends like all the time and then I just schedule it around whatever events I might have on at night. Yeah. The but then, like, I still work on Saturday and Sunday morning and every other day. The good it's thing like, for me is, like, Holly will get her work shift and I'll be like, okay, well, I'll just work d- during all those hours. <laughs> like, you can good. just change it that's to whatever. That's my roster. Well, yeah. yeah, you can make your own hours. Like, it's not like you have set hours and you can always be flexible with it. Yeah. So which is super cool. Like, you can very handy. You can give yourself work hours, but then if something comes up, you can always just, like, be like, all right, I'll do that later. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, other jobs don't let you just, like, go to Rottnest for the weekend yeah. or something. You know what I mean? Very I've said it for the weekend's different, but, like, for, like, Monday, Tuesday, you have to, like, get time off and all that stuff. Yeah. So that's the benefit. But then also I grinded like harder than I ever had in like the three day lead up to oh, when yeah. I went away for two Steve. days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when I was cooked, man. <laughs> Look, like that, because yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, we went to Rotto the weekend after Steve got released. You can't just say Rotto. It's a, oh, sorry. It's a, it's <laughs> a, we've talked about it before. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it's, for people that don't know, it's called Rotnest Island. It's a holiday destination. I was going to elaborate a bit more anyway. Okay, sorry. But then, um, yeah, so the, the Steve came out, what, three days before we went out? Mm-hmm. I think I probably saw you maybe twice. In total, <laughs> even though we were about five meters apart the whole for three days, just because we were both just in our rooms, just grinding out videos. Just yeah, yeah, and I even had like uh, Jacob Schluck, the editor for Underdogs, do like a rough cut so that I could get an extra video out. He did like a rough cut, and then I went and like oh, wow. trimmed it up and added a few jokes and that, mm. and then just like just so that I could record more and have like one extra video for the weekend. Yeah. Then that was like the best my channel's done. Ever. Oh yeah, October was but great. But it's month. also like I was so ready for a holiday after like <laughs> three days of non-stop Steve editing, mm. and then I like go away and don't have to think about anything for three days. So that was nice. Good times. Yeah, it's fun. We've been recording for ages, hey. Uh, yeah, we should probably wrap up the podcast yeah. about now. So um, leave if you're still listening. You're not. Um, oh, leave yeah, suggestions for things we can do. For like the two weeks. Yeah. The underdogs try. We want to like try and be healthier or more productive, that kind of thing. So I anything you can suggest. Like lifestyle changes, you know? Yeah. In a pos- I don't want to be like, uh, take meth every day for <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> something good. The something underdogs positive. try meth for two weeks. Yeah. Comment something we should try weeks. for the next two weeks. And so other ideas we have had, just in case you guys know what... It, what, are you, what are the ones we said? Uh, cold shower, cold being shower. a vegetarian. Yeah. Similar vibes to that. Yeah, something Black and that, white phone screen. The kind of shit yeah. that people say is good for you, but nobody ever bothers to actually do it. <laughs> we can try yeah. it out. So if there's something you want to do, but you don't can't be bothered because you don't know if it's going to be worth it. <laughs> we'll let you know. We'll do it. <laughs> oh, are we the Try Guys? Yes. <laughs> We're going to make a channel just about this. Just you wait. We are the new Try Guys. What's Try Guys? Yep. They the end. <laughs>